Well, it snowed. You know what that means, it's time to go buy another car. What's going on guys, my name is Nick, and welcome back to Olsen Auto. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below what type of content you guys want to see. Just make sure you guys let me know, I make a lot of car and motorcycle content, and in today's video, I impulse, well, I make my friend impulsively buy a Prelude. I, I gave him, I'm gonna give him depression. Anyway, I was looking around on Facebook Marketplace like I always do. You guys don't know, I actually do look at a lot of cars very, very frequently. I just don't always vlog it because A, that's kind of awkward for the person, and B, if I don't end up buying it, it's just a waste of a video and a waste of your guys' time. So I'm looking around and I find the 1990 Honda Prelude 2.1 SI with the four-wheel steering, my dream spec, but I'm like really low on money and I was sort of just looking around for fun. So I send it to my friend Seth, I'm like, yo, I want this, like it's sick, just showing it to him. And then he says, oh, I want it. And now, in a few short hours, we're going to be, it's, it's like a half hour away. We're going to go look at it, uh, and I think he's going to buy it, which is pretty sick. Because then we're going to have another prelude in the friend group, which is awesome. It's the same exact generation as mine, and I think it's going to be an awesome project. I think as long as it runs and drives decent enough, probably going to take it home. And maybe, hopefully, Seth, I know you're watching, maybe I'll, I'll buy it off you soon when I get money. If I ever get money, guess I'll pick up more hours at work. Anyway, uh, since it's snowing, that means one thing. So, as you can tell, not too much snow. Uh, I was wondering why my car was acting funny, right? The transmission kept slipping, which it always does, you know, Honda. However, uh, it was doing it pretty bad. It's because, and this snow all came off, my car is so low that I was snow plowing and I actually filled the entire front of my car with snow. Anyway, that's the prelude. I gotta take the brush out of the Accord. Guys, the snow is super slick, but I figure if we're going to look at a third gen prelude, we gotta take the third gen prelude. I almost just fell. Um, so yeah, we gotta brush off the prelude and pray that it starts. So let's take it out of the Accord. Also, the Ford is done. Uh, rear end got rebuilt. Oh my gosh, there's snow everywhere. This is terrible. Alrighty, let's, uh... well, she's tweaked. I assume you guys don't want to see any more footage of me doing this, so I'm going to stop. I'll get back to you when it's actually done. Alright, for all you who don't deal with the snow, uh, Marshall, I'm looking at you. We're going to go ahead. Oh, there's no freaking way this thing starts. Talk about the best battery I own. Holy crap, guys, it actually started. Alright, uh, well, I did this just so it could actually warm up a little bit, get some of the heat going, because... Yeah, it's a little cold, so let's let her get some heat. Let's finish clearing off this snow, because I can't see shit. All right, with the lewd all cleared off, I got to try. It's on the grass right now. Got to try and, I don't know, there's like a big lip right there that my exhaust will get stuck on, so kind of got to go like there through the snow. So let's go off-roading on the old Man Kang Sport Tires. This is going to go so well. I hate having a cloth interior, but I love it. It's so much better than leather, but... There's snow everywhere, oh my gosh. Somehow I, oh well, sorry about the lawn. All right, took the lewd, we're at Seth's house, got the Del Sol, gonna have a red prelude joining the family soon, got the old V8 swap Nissan hard body, so let's go ahead and let's go buy a shitbox. Loading up some parts, this is the new beast, 1990 four wheel steer, bone stock, minus the paint. Got a bunch of parts with it, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, take it back to the house and then do a little bit more in depth, but she's meant. So this is a four wheel steer, 1990 Honda Prelude. I'll show you guys the four wheel steer in a second. 1700 was an awesome deal. The guy was super cool. Uh, he loved this car and he didn't want to get rid of it, but glad that it ended up with Seth because, well, I was gonna impulse buy it if he didn't, so. That little badge right there is the big difference between this car and my car, and now I want a four-wheel steer prelude twice as bad, but made it home, runs amazing, comes with a ton of parts for an extra hundred bucks. We got trunks, like a bunch, a bunch of stuff. The, my prelude is filled up with more stuff. I finally got an intake for mine, because I've been using some kind of sketchy intake, so. Came with a bunch of parts. I'm gonna show you guys more of the interior, but yeah, definitely came with some good stuff. 
All right, so this is the interior. Let me get out my phone, give you guys a little bit of light. It's pretty clean, especially for a 30-year-old car. Definitely can't complain there. Factory radio. Headliner, I mean, can't say much about the headliner. With the style of headliner, these do not sag. I believe this might be leaking through the sunroof vent, which might be an issue if it's not. Maybe it was just wet. Uh, easy, easy fix. A few little things like this trim piece up here, nothing major. But overall, pretty clean interior. Gonna give you guys a little start up. And then we are going to show you the four wheel steer because that's pretty much the coolest part about this vehicle. Dude, she purrs. Super quiet, no engine sounds or anything. Bone stock under the hood, which is awesome. Stock exhaust, it wasn't riced out like mine was, so that's pretty awesome. Now let me uh, put the wheel at full lock. I'm gonna show you guys how the four wheel steer works. So the four wheel steer makes it have an incredibly tight turn radius and under the rear there's a little turning steering box differential thing which is uh, pretty hard to find. I've tried to find one. You can find them. Not the easiest but technically if I just come back later in the night and steal his linkage I think I can put it in my car. Now one of the bigger flaws is the vehicle was in an accident at one point in this uh, previous owner's ownership. So the front end is a little tweaked. It's not the worst. I would say it's probably about the same as my Prelude, which wasn't even in an accident, which that says something, but it's pretty straight other than that. It was a f originally, this was originally a white car. It got a pretty decent respray. However, there's still some white pieces like this trim, that mirror over there, and the engine bay. But even the door jams were painted to match, which is pretty awesome. So with some detailing and maybe some wet sanding, a nice polish and a buff, this might actually turn out to be a pretty mint paint job. So this is sort of the introduction. I know we're going to be working on this car together, doing whatever. You have the rear mud flaps. No way. Oh, I'm so jealous. Anyway, this is the introduction. Uh, probably going to be making more videos on this car. It's super clean for what it is. We got an awesome deal on it. The guy was super cool. I feel bad that he had to sell it because it was definitely his baby, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more of this third gen prelude or of my third gen prelude, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.